seriously, okay? I was telling you, repentance is a continuous thing, okay? And I was uh, making a video, which I didn't get a uh, upload, which I'm gonna, about to tell you, okay? That is not one save, always save, like, God give me more details, okay? Uh, God give me mind-blowing knowledge, okay? So what happened was, um, it wasn't, um, uh, the reason why I said, um, you know, if you guys check out my video, I, I make important points that the the one save always say cannot deny the truth. Okay, you cannot ar ar argue wisdom. Okay, just because you uh you know read the scripture because you don't have understanding, you have to pray for the understanding. So what happened was, I was talking about the the robbery which died on the cross. Truly, it was once saved, always saved because he was about to die and be with Christ, and he was about to get his incorruptible body. Okay, he was uh, going to be thirsty and hungry no more. Okay, his his um what was it? his race is done okay but as for us okay for the living okay remember we are still under the curse cursed curse from Adam and Eve the corruptible body what what is it the sinful nature that okay <laughs> all right so let's go um, are we still under the curse let's see what the Bible says. All right, and of course I just put in law, curse, or curse law, and we can scroll down here a little bit. And uh, let me just read these two verses here. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Are you under the curse? I think it's a good question. Now, what's uh, verse 13 say? Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. He has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The law gives us the knowledge of sin. Jesus offered his body as a sacrifice for our sins. Once for all. Therefore, we are no longer under the law. See, the law is our schoolmaster to bring us to faith in Christ. Once faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. All right, you catch that? It's real simple. It really is. But now, you can pray until your eyes bug out of your head. God's not going to give you understanding until you have faith. Even today, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. They can pray day and night, sun up to sundown. They can pray in their sleep, but they're not going to understand until they have faith. Even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, simply meaning when they shall have faith the veil is taken away. The key, the secret, the mystery is faith. It's always been about faith. And you think about, oh, <laughs> I mean, it, it, Hebrews 11 just hammers this home and knock the eyes out of the back of your head, man. It's all about faith. The whole Bible is all about faith. Okay.
<laughs> it's incredible, really. But you think about, you know, what salvation is. You can ask God. You can pray to God. You can confess the Lord Jesus Christ. You can beg God to save you. That doesn't mean you're saved. You can choose God all day and all night and in your sleep. Doesn't mean you're saved. The only way to be saved is if He chooses us. All right, now He's promised that if we believe in Him, He will save us. It's an absolute promise. And He will, absolutely, if you believe. Think about John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And you go to, uh, I can't remember what verse that is. What must I do to be, what, my, what must I do do? No, no, no. No do do. Acts 16. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You go to, what is it, Ephesians 2? For by grace are you saved through faith. It's by the grace of God that you're saved through faith not of yourselves you can say in your heart that you've kept the law all you know all, all through your life since your youth you've kept the law you never sin that's not going to save you only one way to be saved and that's if he chooses you and he has promised that he will save you if you believe all right okay so <clears throat> I just want to go over that real quick and it's pretty obvious you know <laughs> it's pretty obvious you know these people they speak against once saved always saved and they'll never give you a clear understanding of what must I do to be saved and, and look if you think keeping the law is gonna save you you do not keep the law the law is there to show us you're not perfect all have sinned all have sinned and come short of the glory of God none of us have ever I mean we're born into it man that's established clear back in Genesis 3 we're born into it now I'm gonna close on this comment here and I think this is a great thing that this guy here is doing he's saying hello my brother sorry for muting our little talk on my channel about once saved always saved after that, the Holy Ghost taught that if me and a brother disagree on something, we must still stay connected as brothers in Christ. Philippians 3, 5, 16. Oh, it used to be in my Bible, and now they took... Oh, there it is. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, 
Where to? We have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Let us mine the same thing. Okay. This is interesting, right? God shall reveal even this unto you. So, um, again, like you could pray and pray and pray, pray and pray. That's and that's nothing wrong with that at all. But you do not attain or obtain until He gives it to you, whether it's salvation or understanding. It comes from God. It does not come from you. All right. So that's a great verse. Also, in one of videos, I never stated that salvation is by the law. I said we are saved by grace through faith. Right now, I deleted those videos because this whole once saved, always saved argument just doesn't make sense. So, my bro, despite our di disagreements, let's stay connected. Jesus, bless up. All right, so I think that's a great thing that you've done. And that is to delete the videos speaking against the salvation of our Lord, Jesus Christ, who has promised us eternal life eternal life is eternal security eternal security is once saved always saved it is the gift of God is it is the promise of everlasting life when we are born of the Spirit of God we have eternal security forever nothing can ever take that away we are saved forever. There is no way possible to have peace without the knowledge of eternal security. And let's go real quick here to uh, Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing. That he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He which has begun a good work in you, not you doing work in him, right? It's him doing the work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ when you are born of God. You are born of the Spirit of God, and ye shall never die. All right. Okay, so I appreciate that. And, you know, that's great. That's a great thing, man, to actually reconsider and put the truth above yourself. Man, that's, I mean, is there anything greater? Is there anything greater than that when a man puts the truth above even him own self okay so I'll end it right there all right thanks for the comment if I'm not being fair to this lady let me know if I'm being too rough on her just let me know I'll try to be better